Naphthalene is an organic compound with formula C10H8. It is the simplest polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon, and is a white crystalline solid with a characteristic odor that is detectable at concentrations as low as 0.08 ppm by mass. As an aromatic hydrocarbon, naphthalene's structure consists of a fused pair of benzene rings. It is best known as the main ingredient of traditional mothballs. History In the early 1820s, two separate reports described a white solid with a pungent odor derived from the distillation of coal tar. In 1821, John Kidd cited these two disclosures and then described many of this substance's properties and the means of its production. He proposed the name naphthalene, as it had been derived from a kind of naphtha a broad term encompassing any volatile, flammable liquid hydrocarbon mixture, including coal tar. Naphthalene. S chemical formula was determined by Michael Faraday in 1826. The structure of two fused benzene rings was proposed by Emil Erlenmeyer in 1866, and confirmed by Carl Grade three years later. Structure and reactivity A naphthalene molecule can be viewed as the fusion of a pair of benzene rings. In organic chemistry, rings are fused if they share two or more atoms. As such, naphthalene is classified as a benzenoid polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon (PA). There are two sets of equivalent hydrogen atoms. The alpha positions are numbered 1, 4, 5, and 8 per diagram in right margin, and the beta positions 2, 3, 6, and 7. Unlike benzene, the carbon-carbon bonds in naphthalene are not of the same length. The bonds C1-C2, C3-C4, C5-C6 and C7-C8 are about 1.37 of pm in length, whereas the other carbon-carbon bonds are about 1.42 of pm long. This difference, established by X-ray diffraction, is consistent with the valence bond model in naphthalene and in particular, with the theorem of cross-conjugation. This theorem would describe naphthalene as an aromatic benzene unit bonded to a diene but not extensively conjugated to it, at least in the ground state. As such, naphthalene possesses several resonance structures. Two isomers are possible for mono-substituted naphthalenes, corresponding to substitution at an alpha or beta position. Bicyclo 6 .2 decapentene is a structural isomer with a fused 4 to 8 ring system. Reactions with electrophiles in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions, naphthalene reacts more readily than benzene. For example, chlorination and bromination of naphthalene proceeds without a catalyst to give one chloronaphthalene and one bromonaphthalene, respectively. Likewise, whereas both benzene and naphthalene can be alkylated using Friedel Crafts reactions, naphthalene can also be easily alkylated by reaction with alkenes or alcohols, using sulfuric or phosphoric acid catalysts. In terms of regiochemistry, electrophiles attack at the alpha position. The selectivity for alpha over beta substitution can be rationalized in terms of the resonance structures of the intermediate. For the alpha substitution intermediate, seven resonance structures can be drawn, of which four preserve an aromatic ring. For beta substitution, the intermediate has only six resonance structures, and only two of these are aromatic. Sulfonation gives the alpha. Product naphthalene 1 sulfonic acid as the kinetic product, but naphthalene 2 sulfonic acid as the thermodynamic product. The 1 isomer forms predominantly at 25 degrees Celsius, and the 2 isomer at 160 degrees Celsius. Sulfonation to give the 1 and 2 sulfonic acid occurs readily. H2SO4 plus C10H8 C10H7 minus SO3H plus H2 A further sulfonation give D, tri, and tetrasulfonic acids. Lithiation analogous to the synthesis of phenylithium is the conversion of one bromonaphthalene to one lithionaphthalene, a lithium halogen exchange, C10H7 bridge plus Bouli C10H7 Li plus Bubard resulting lithionaphthalene undergoes a second lithiation, in contrast to the behavior of phenylithium. These 1,8 dilithio derivatives are precursors to a host of perinaphthalene derivatives. 
Reduction and oxidation with alkali metals, naphthalene forms the dark blue-green radical anion salts such as sodium naphthalenide, Na plus C10H-8. The naphthalenide salts are strong reducing agents. Naphthalene can be hydrogenated under high pressure in the presence of metal catalysts to give 1, 2, 3, 4 tetrahydronaphthalene, C10H12, also known as tetralin. Further hydrogenation yields decahydronaphthalene or decalin, C10H18. Oxidation with O2 in the presence of a vanadium catalyst gives thalic anhydride, C10H8 plus 4.5 O2C6H4 CO2O plus 2CO2 plus 2H2O. This reaction is the basis of the main use of naphthalene. Oxidation can also be effected using conventional stoichiometric chromate or permanganate reagents. Production Most naphthalene is derived from coal tar. From the 1960s until the 1990s, significant amounts of naphthalene were also produced from heavy petroleum fractions during petroleum refining, but today petroleum-derived naphthalene represents only a minor component of naphthalene production. Naphthalene is the most abundant single component of coal tar. Although the composition of coal tar varies with the coal from which it is produced, typical coal tar is about 10% naphthalene by weight. In industrial practice, distillation of coal tar yields an oil containing about 50% naphthalene, along with 12 other aromatic compounds. This oil, after being washed with aqueous sodium hydroxide to remove acidic components, chiefly various phenols, and with sulfuric acid to remove basic components, undergoes fractional distillation to isolate naphthalene. The crude naphthalene resulting from this process is about 95% naphthalene by weight. The chief impurities are the sulfur-containing aromatic compound benzothiophene other sources and occurrences aside from coal tar, trace amounts of naphthalene are produced by magnolias and certain species of deer, as well as the Formosan subterranean termite, possibly produced by the termite as a repellent against ants, poisonous fungi and nematode worms. Some strains of the endophytic fungus Muscador albus produce naphthalene among a range of volatile organic compounds, while Muscador vitagenis produces naphthalene almost exclusively. Naphthalene in the interstellar medium Naphthalene has been tentatively detected in the interstellar medium in the direction of the star Cernes 52 in the constellation Perseus. More than 20% of the carbon in the universe may be associated with polyaromatic hydrocarbons, including naphthalene. Protonated cations of naphthalene C10H are the source of part of the spectrum of the unidentified infrared emissions UIRs. Protonated naphthalene differs from neutral naphthalene e.g. that used in mothballs in that it has an additional hydrogen atom. The UIRs from naphthalene cation C10H+9 have been observed by astronomers. This research has been publicized as mothballs in space. Uses Naphthalene is used mainly as a precursor to other chemicals. The single largest use of naphthalene is the industrial production of phthalic anhydride, although more phthalic anhydride is made from oxaline. Many azo dyes are produced from naphthalene, and so is the insecticide 1 naphthal and methyl carbamate. Carbaryl. Other useful agrochemicals include naphthoxyacetic acids. Naphthalinesulfonic acids and sulfonates Many naphthalinesulfonic acids and sulfonates are useful. Alkyl naphthalene sulfonate or surfactants, the aminonaphthalinesulfonic acids, naphthalene substituted with amines and sulfonic acids, are intermediates in the preparation of many synthetic dyes. The hydrogenated naphthalenes tetrahydronaphthalene and decahydronaphthalene are used as low volatility solvents. Naphthalene sulfonic acids are also used in the synthesis of 1-naphthal and 2-naphthal, precursors for various dyestuffs, pigments, rubber processing chemicals and other chemicals and pharmaceuticals. Naphthalene sulfonic acids are used in the manufacture of naphthalene sulfonate polymer plasticizers, dispersants, which are used to produce concrete and plasterboard, wallboard or drywall. They are also used as dispersants in synthetic and natural rubbers, and as tanning agents syntans in leather industries, agricultural formulations dispersants for pesticides, dyes and as a dispersant in lead-acid battery plates. Naphthalene sulfonate polymers are produced by treating naphthalinesulfonic acid with formaldehyde, followed by neutralization with sodium hydroxide or calcium hydroxide. 
These products are commercially sold in solution, water, or dry powder form. Laboratory uses Molten naphthalene provides an excellent solubilizing medium for poorly soluble aromatic compounds. In many cases it is more efficient than other high boiling solvents, such as dichlorobenzene, benzonitrile, nitrobenzene and durine. The reaction of C60 with anthracene is conveniently conducted in refluxing naphthalene to give the 1 to 1 Diels Alder aduct. The aromatization of hydroporphyrins has been achieved using a solution of DDQ in naphthalene. Wetting agent and surfactant Alkyl naphthalene sulfonates ANS are used in many industrial applications as nondetergent wetting agents that effectively disperse colloidal systems in aqueous media. The major commercial applications are in the agricultural chemical industry, which uses ANS for wettable powder and wettable granular, dry flowable formulations, and the textile and fabric industry, which utilizes the wetting and defoaming properties of ANS for bleaching and dyeing operations. As a fumigant Naphthalene has been used as a household fumigant. It was once the primary ingredient in mothballs, although its use has largely been replaced in favor of alternatives such as 1,4-dichlorobenzene. In a sealed container containing naphthalene pellets, naphthalene vapors build up to levels toxic to both the adult and larval forms of many moths that attack textiles. Other fumigant uses of naphthalene include use in soil as a fumigant pesticide, in attic spaces to repel animals and insects, and in museum storage drawers and cupboards to protect the contents from attack by insect pests. Naphthalene is a repellent to opossums. Other uses It is used in pyrotechnic special effects such as the generation of black smoke and simulated explosions. It is used to create artificial pores in the manufacture of high porosity grinding wheels. In the past, naphthalene was administered orally to kill parasitic worms in livestock. Naphthalene and its alkyl homologues are the major constituents of creosote. Naphthalene is used in engineering to study heat transfer using mass sublimation. Health effects Exposure to large amounts of naphthalene may damage or destroy red blood cells, most commonly in people with the inherited condition known as glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase G6PD deficiency, which over 400 million people suffer from. Humans, in particular children, have developed the condition known as hemolytic anemia, after ingesting mothballs or deodorant blocks containing naphthalene. Symptoms include fatigue, lack of appetite, restlessness, and pale skin. Exposure to large amounts of naphthalene may cause confusion, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, blood in the urine, and jaundice yellow coloration of the skin due to dysfunction of the liver. The US National Toxicology Program (NTP) held an experiment where male and female rats and mice were exposed to naphthalene vapors on weekdays for 2 years. Both male and female rats exhibited evidence of carcinogenesis with increased incidences of adenoma and neuroblastoma of the nose. Female mice exhibited some evidence of carcinogenesis based on increased incidences of alveolar and bronchiolar adenoma of the lung, while male mice exhibited no evidence of carcinogenesis. The International Agency for Research on Cancer IARC, classifies naphthalene as possibly carcinogenic to humans and animals group 2B. The IARC also points out that acute exposure causes cataracts in humans, rats, rabbits, and mice, and that hemolytic anemia described above can occur in children and infants after oral or inhalation exposure or after maternal exposure during pregnancy. Under California's Proposition 65, naphthalene is listed as known to the state to cause cancer. A probable mechanism for the carcinogenic effects of mothballs and some types of air fresheners containing naphthalene has been identified. Regulation U.S. government agencies have set occupational exposure limits to naphthalene exposure. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration has set a permissible exposure limit at 10 ppm 50 mg per cubic meter, over an 8-hour time-weighted average. 
The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has set a recommended exposure limit at 10 ppm 50 mg per cubic meter over an 8-hour time-weighted average, as well as a short-term exposure limit at 15 ppm 75 mg per cubic meter. Mothballs and other products containing naphthalene have been banned within the EU since 2008. In China, the use of naphthalene in mothballs is forbidden. Danger to human health and the common use of natural camphor are cited as reasons for the ban. Naphthalene derivatives The partial list of naphthalene derivatives includes the following compounds. See also Camphor Dialin, Tetralin, Decalin List of interstellar and circumstellar molecules Mothballs 1 naphthal, 2 naphthal Sodium naphthalenide Wagner Jarig reaction, classic naphthalene synthesis References External links Naphthalene National Pesticide Information Center Naphthalene EPA Air Toxics website Naphthalene PIM 363 Mostly on toxicity of naphthalene Naphthalene CDC NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards Naphthalene in the Pesticide Properties Database PPDB